Forecasters. Good morning. Welcome to the Forecast Discussion for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Well, we have high pressure in control right now with tranquil weather conditions and a bit cool out there with temperatures ranging from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast, but a northwesterly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour, about 10 to 20 miles per hour right along the immediate coast. Those winds will subside as we move on through the day, and we'll have chilly conditions today with highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s, but at the very least it will be dry and plenty of sunshine. Unfortunately, it does not look like that's going to be the case for this weekend, especially for Saturday with some very heavy rainfall expected throughout the northern Mid-Atlantic. So what's causing this rainfall? Well, we have a low-pressure system that is starting to develop here along the Gulf Coast and a nice strong upper-level shortwave that is developing over the mid-Mississippi River Valley. These two are going to combine to form a low-pressure system along the southeast coast that will track up the coast this weekend. Friday night on through Saturday it is going to get pretty nasty around here with very heavy rainfall, strong winds, and the potential for some coastal flooding, power outages. Basically, if you have any plans for Saturday morning, you probably don't want to keep them. And unfortunately, those showers are going to continue to linger on throughout the region for Saturday evening on through Sunday as little short waves or spokes of low pressure rotate through the region, producing the threat of scattered showers. So Sunday won't be a complete washout, but it will certainly be a bit unsettled. High pressure is in control today. This high pressure system will push off the coast. Here's our storm that's starting to develop along the Gulf Coast. This will track towards the North Carolina coast by tomorrow afternoon and then lift northward through the New Jersey coast and up towards the Hudson River Valley and eventually towards southeastern Canada by the time we get to Saturday into Sunday. So let's dive into this forecast for today. High pressure in place with clear skies to sky cloud cover. Highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Winds will subside towards this evening as high pressure moves right over the area. With light and variable winds, clear skies, temperatures will fall into the upper 20s to lower 30s over the northern interior, mid 30s along the coast. A rather chilly night is going to be on the way. For tomorrow afternoon, look for increasing clouds with showers developing towards evening. Now you're going to notice winds starting to increase from the east around 10 to 20 miles per hour. By the time you get to the late evening hours, those winds will increase to around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Look for highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. On Saturday, our low pressure system will lift north and basically cut through central New Jersey on up towards the Hudson River Valley and then towards northern Canada, or should I say uh, northern New England. This storm track is going to lead to a strong southeasterly wind right along the coast and very warm conditions. So you're going to have very heavy rainfall, temperatures ranging from the upper 50s to lower 60s in the New York City metro, mid to upper 60s will be possible in the Philadelphia metro, especially along the New Jersey coast. However, just north and west towards the, let's say, the Poconos, uh, northwest of New Jersey, the central Hudson, Hudson River Valley, portions of northern Connecticut, you're going to have temperatures in the upper 40s to mid 50s. So quite a range in temperatures are going to be in place throughout the region with heavy rainfall for all locations, even the highest elevations. You might see a little bit of snow and sleet mixed in at the very start of this precipitation event, but for the most part, we're talking about rainfall for everyone with no snow accumulation expected with this storm. After all, it is only late October. But what this storm will produce is very heavy rainfall, with rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches, with locally higher amounts possible, especially along the coast. So flash flooding and coastal flooding will be a major concern, and that coastal flooding will be a concern because you're going to have strong easterly winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour along the coast, 10 to 20 miles per hour further inland, with wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. That's going to lead not only to very poor visibility, but the potential for minor to moderate wind damage, and a threat for power outages. So certainly be prepared for that, along with the coastal flooding right along the immediate coast, uh, especially on Saturday morning. So it's going to be a very nasty storm. And if you have any uh, plans on Saturday morning, I would frankly just cancel them. So that storm is going to lift northward. Now Saturday evening on through Sunday, the heaviest rain is going to be pushing into New England but we'll continue to have these little spokes of troughs of low pressure rotating around the upper level low that's going to be sitting right here. And so that's going to keep the threat for sky showers in the forecast 
through Sunday. It won't be a washout, but certainly won't be comfortable out there with unsettled conditions. And also it will continue to remain rather windy with winds from the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. On Monday, another area of low pressure will move through. Uh, by the way, on Sunday, lows will be in the mid to upper 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. On Monday, another low pressure system moves through with scattered showers, lows in the mid 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure will be in control with clear skies and comfortable weather conditions. Look for lows in the mid to upper 30s, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And on Thursday, the high pressure system starts to depart with more of a southwesterly wind. Temperatures will be a bit warmer with lows in the mid 40s and highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So a very nasty storm is going to be on the way. If you have any travel plans Friday night into Saturday, I'd probably try to push them off to Sunday evening or get out of here on tonight or tomorrow morning before this storm really gets going for tomorrow night on through Saturday. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.